Hello everyone, it's Faith from Firesign Tarot. I hope everyone's doing fabulous this evening. Oh, I know I'm like a work day late, I'm sorry, but it is time for the work week top and bottom. We're starting out with the earth signs tonight because it's still Taurus season, so earth signs go first. Everybody knows the deal. Who's been here before? If you haven't been here before, I'll go through it real quick just for you. We go by the elements, so earth, air, water, fire, tonight. Specifically, um, depending on what zodiac season we're in, whatever element they are, that's where we start. That's about it, and it's just a general quick sneak peek of what might happen this week. We'll see. Let's see what comes out in the cards. So. Earth signs, you go first. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Top of the deck, nine of swords in the reverse. Bottom of the deck, four of swords. Oh my God, you're sleeping better. Earth signs, you're resting. You're coming out of a state of going oh buggo and you're finally in chill out mode. Awesome, love it. Okay. It's about time. In the past, could have been a while ago, could have been not so long ago. Ten of Wands reversed, Queen of Pentacles. You had trouble releasing a burden. You may have been coming to your own independence-wise. Could have been emotionally, could have been financially, what have you. All right, here and now. Two of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Things are looking up. Possibly a new connection came in. Maybe right now, maybe a little bit ago, maybe a little bit from now. The present's kind of fluid as far as present energy. Know what I'm saying? Oh, what's coming up? These are the two big cards. The connection we were just talking about, that upward turn of events. Hey, hey, what do you know? This week might be even bigger and better. This is like, this is, this is huge. Earth signs, this is huge. I'm not even going to clarify this because I don't want to ruin it. But this is huge. This could be the person you end up marrying, possibly. This is the marriage card. And the high priest, is, it's, it's the card that represents that divine connection, that 5D into 3D. Like, you guys have been doing this a minute. You know what I'm saying? You could have been dreaming about this person. They could have been dreaming about you. Like, connected soulmates. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. And I think this is something you've been, like, chewing on for a minute. Because... You're coming out of a state of restless energy. You're finally able to rest about it. You couldn't release a burden. And you finally... You came into your own emotionally. You found that piece of independence. That's awesome. Maybe you were coming out of something you were struggling with. You know what happens when you finally accept being on your own? Connections come to you. I'm leaving it alone. I'm moving on. You guys are going to have a great week. Friday into Saturday, let me know what happens, okay? Just keep this one in mind because this is super awesome. I'm leaving it alone, picking the cards up, not even clarifying anything. 
Not even going to give you any advice. Nope. Okay, fine. I'll give you a little piece of advice. For anybody who needs it. Hmm. Okay. Four of cups in the upright, the nine of cups in the reverse. Don't dwell on that past crap. The universe just handed you something. Grab it. Grab it. That's awesome. <sighs> Fill your cups with positive things. Don't go back into nasty old habits. And don't kick other people's cups over. Okay. Air. Stop and remember where I was. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What does the universe have in store for you this week? Let's see. Tried to fly out. I didn't see what it was. We're about to find out. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Seven of Wands. Coming out of the cold with someone, something, person, place, situation. Seven of Wands regaining control. So far, I like it. We'll see what the rest of the cards have to say. See if we got to clarify anything. In the past, we have Justice and the Knight of Wands reversed. Balancing of the playing field. Maybe some justice after an unjust situation with someone who was kind of in and out of your life, possibly. Maybe they decided they didn't want to be so in and out of your life anymore. Maybe they finally decided they wanted to come in out of the cold. Get their crap together. What's going on right now? Nine of cups in the upright and the fool. Love it. Love it. You're emotionally fulfilled. You're one cup away. You are one cup away from the sunshine and rainbows dream that we all want. And the full, the full card, new adventures. You're, you're ready to jump. You're excited. That's awesome. Super happy for you. What's coming up? The page of wands and the ten of swords reversed. I don't like it. Oh no. Hmm. Hmm. Well, you are one cup away. So. Forward movement, but not quite ready to let a painful cycle end. Can I get some clarity on the Ten of Swords, please? Ten of Swords reverse. One clarifier. Okay. Give me three. You threw me three? I'll take three. The world, the Queen of Wands, and the High Priestess. Okay. Part of letting the sun shine again in your life is allowing cycles to close so new cycles can open. You must end one thing before you can begin another. It is just the way it is. Right? You don't stop two pages before the end of a chapter in a book and start reading the next chapter, do you? Don't leave that hanging out there. That's silly. Just saying. Queen of Wands, she's a woman who knows her worth. She doesn't take crap from anybody. She's very intuitive. She's very powerful. She will light a fire under your butt. The High Priestess. Again. Very intuitive, very connected. It's 
powerful connection you got going on here. You could be dreaming about someone. All right, here's the deal. The key to finally letting the sun shine again is to become more in tune with what you want and what your path is. Okay. And what needs to end to begin what needs to begin. But get her done. Because, well, the world waits for no one. You can't stop time. Just not how it works, or air signs. Just not how it works. <clears throat> so that's the key to that. You are the only one with the power to do that for yourself. No one can do it for you. I can't. Your best friend can't. Your significant other can't. You have to do it. If you want the sun to shine in your life, you need to make the sun shine. A little bit more advice for you. It's coming along. You're one cup away. You just got to get the fire going. Ten of wands reversed, and there's that ten of cups. There it is right there. But you have to release the burden. Whatever is stopping you from reaching that tenth cup, the only one who can make progress is you. Well, how do I do that? Well, let's pull a couple more cards. The King of Cups reversed. The King of Wands reversed. All right, here's the deal with this. You have to process emotions. Because by not processing the emotions, you're only impeding yourself from progress. That's not good. Ain't nobody got time for that. No. I don't have time for it. You don't have time for it. Your significant other doesn't have time for it. Your best friend doesn't have time for it. Don't emotionally close yourself off. And stop yourself from progress. That last cup's waiting for you. You just have to let go of whatever burdened you and allow the sun to shine again in your life. And you're almost there. Earth sign. Sorry, air signs. I forget who I'm yelling at. I love you guys. You know that. That's what you need to do. You are so close. Don't be the thing that holds yourself back. Don't get in your own way. Okay. Water signs. Wow, it's going good tonight. I wish they could all go this quick and hopefully I didn't just jinx myself. Because I still have one personal to do after I'm done here and then I'm taking Tuesday and Wednesday off from the tarot channel. Okay. Water signs. Speaking of water signs, that's my Scorpio. Anyway. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What does the universe have in store for you this week? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Top. Bottom. Ace of Wands. Four of Cups reversed. There's something new and fiery and passionate in store for you. Could be with a fire sign. Could be with another water sign. Hard to tell. But you're ignoring it. You're not seeing what's trying to be handed to you right now. See? You're still looking down. With the three cups of despair. You're not looking up. You gotta look up. Alright, so what happened to get you there? Queen of Cups reversed. Ace of Swords reversed. Okay. Emotional closing off. 
lack of communication. Again, you might have been dealing with another water sign or an air sign. The other person may have been emotionally closed off or not talking. Could have been you. I wasn't there. I don't know. I'm just reading the cards. Here and now. Seven of Cups, Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Way in options. <clears throat> Possibly juggling a few emotions. Can't quite pee anything up in the air, though. Can't quite pee anything up in the air. Just keep dropping balls all over. All right. What's happening this week? Five of Pentacles in the reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. Not too shabby, y'all. Not too shabby. Finally coming in out of the cold. Possibly with yourself. I think you're going to get a little bit of your self-worth back this week. And you're going to finally emotionally distance yourself from something that's been impeding you from finally reaching for that cup. Finally finding that happiness. Might be an earth sign you're dealing with. Hard to say at this point. I'm going to throw a clarifier on this Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Because the Five of Pentacles in the reverse can also indicate ghosting. It's not necessarily coming out of the cold all the time. Why is the Five of Pentacles reversed here for my water signs? King of Wands reversed. You've had it. You're throwing in the towel. You're going ghost on somebody. I think you come across something new that you're not going to ignore anymore. You're not going to maintain this emotional close off anymore. You're going to open yourself up to options and stop dropping balls all over. You're going to finally get balls that stay up in the air. Why is the Two of Pentacles reversed here? Ten of Cups. Weighing your options. I like it. I like it. That's very nice. I think you picked a good one. It's going to lead you to the happiness, so why are you ignoring it? That's a good question. Can I get some one on the Queen of Pentacles, please? Eight of Swords. <clears throat> In order... Okay. This is going to be a process, Water Signs. To regain your self-worth, you have to come out of this cage of your own thoughts. You have to because... <sighs> Yeah, you're throwing in the towel and you're going ghost. It, you're you're still going to be slightly wrapped up in it and wondering if you made the right choice. Well, you made a choice that made you happy. Ultimately, are you happy? Leave a comment. Send me an email. Okay. When they fly out without intention, they want to talk. So what do they want to say? 
The devil reversed and the ace of pentacles reversed. Okay. Just random. Special message from the universe. It's time to disconnect from that thing that did not grow. It's time to let it go. And it's time to stop looking down at the spilled cups and start looking up at the cup that the universe is trying to hand you. New start that will have progress. We'll get all wrapped up in it. Advice cards. What do we got? Seven of Swords reversed in the Knight of Wands. I should probably figure out what's going on in my bathroom. I really wish I had a pause button. Everything okay, buddy? Yeah. What are you doing? Well, get on board and stop running water in the bathroom sink. Why? Because I'm in the middle of a reading and I don't know how to pause this thing. Can you just please behave? I don't know how to pause it. No, I don't. Mom's low tech, remember? Oh, no. I love you. <laughs> Sorry, but you got to admit that was kind of funny. And it was very ironic that it happened while the water signs were being read. Seven of Swords reversed, Knight of Wands. Speaking of things that did not grow. For those of you who might resonate with this, it may be time to have an honest conversation with your partner about what stage of commitment you're at. Is this going to last? Are you in or are you out? Clear the air a little bit. I'm not sure who that was for. The Ten of Swords reversed in the Lovers. Okay. Beautiful connection headed your way. Mutually felt. But for some of you, speaking of this Eight of Swords, there's the Ten of Swords reversed. You have this beautiful, wonderful, abundant connection here and you're happy and you're coming into yourself and you're coming into your own you're getting your self confidence back and that's all well and good but don't let old thoughts come back to haunt you because the sun is trying to shine again in your life the only one who can stop that sun from shining is you okay let me know if it resonates. Fire signs, you're up next and we're almost done. I have to keep checking the phone. Because a couple of weeks ago, they almost burned the place down. It's the bread and butter job. Pardon me. Even still. Mm. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Empress reversed. Eight of Wands reversed. Possibly dealing with a disconnect with someone you were married to or have a child with. There's no communication. There's no forward movement. There's no growth. Fire signs get the sad story tonight, I guess. What happened? The world reversed. Three of Wands reversed. Okay. Something was left incomplete, left hanging out there. A cycle didn't properly come to a close. Because someone just decided to stop waiting. Okay. We'll see what they stopped waiting for in a second. Top of the deck, bottom of the deck. Mm. The Queen of Swords and the Strength reversed. All right. Someone's very cold. Like emotionally cold. Possibly very drained. Holding something back. We we'll clarity on that in a second. Let's head into the for you this week. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse and the Knight of Pentacles. Oh. Well, that's kind of good news. <clears throat> Can I get some clarity on the Three of Wands, please? Can I get some clarity on the Three of Wands reversed? Emperor reversed popped out. They decided to stop waiting. Could have been you, could have been them. Things were out of control. Okay, I dropped that one, but it didn't fall out on its own. Why is the strength reversed here? Page of Cups reversed. Holding back communication. Cold, no communication, no growth, no forward movement. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Four of Wands. Possibly a cold, honest conversation about doors opening up elsewhere. Holding back communication, holding back love. <clears throat> okay, so that's leading up to the present. This week, Ace of Pentacles reversed in the Knight of Pentacles. Well, this is interesting. Hmm. Why is the Ace of Pentacles reversed here? 
karma. Um, might be a comeback around. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles indicates an apology. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? The Two of Pentacles, Infinity, coming together. Regaining, regaining balance. Well. Earth signs, or sorry, fire signs, fire signs. You guys decide what you're going to do with that. Let's give you a little bit of advice. Ooh, the death reversed and the tower in the upright. I do not like seeing these two cards as advice in any position. You need to assess if this person has changed or if this is just, is just going to be cataclysmic again if it comes back around. So that is for you to decide. But definitely a game changer is coming up. This is going to shake things up. The Nine of Wands reversed and the Five of Pentacles reversed. You're extremely vulnerable right now. Your walls are down. This comeback around might cause a little bit of excitement for you because there hasn't been communication for a while by the looks of things. And this is something you really wanted. This is possibly someone you have a family with. It's up to you if you want to let them come in out of the cold. One more from a fire signs. I think I'm going to call this reading done. Six of pentacles and the seven of swords reversed. Unless they are coming back honest. Honest. And things are going to be equal. Things are going to be fair. Things are going to be just. Well, it's up to you what you do. I'm not here to tell you how to live. But it might be a good idea to make sure they're coming back straight with you before you decide to let them come in out of the cold. Because they know your walls are down. And this is going to shake things up. And you need to decide if they have changed enough to suit what you want. Okay? I mean, they're coming back. They can come back with all the I'm sorry they want. They can say, I'm sorry until they're blue in the face. You decide what it means to you, fire signs. All right. Much love, gang. It's not midnight in California yet, so it's still technically Monday. I love you guys. Two bits. Be blessed. I will catch you guys on Thursday for the special... I don't want to call it bonus because that is so overused. The Tarot de Marseille special. We're going to go around the wheel and it's going to be a good time. I don't think I'm going to go live though just because I don't want to mess around with the phone because it was such a disaster last time. So I will probably just do that reading in the morning when I wake up and post it for you guys to enjoy all day Thursday as I'm still feverishly cleaning my house. But take care and I'll catch you guys later.